The king, the, 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 the king's son Kaku have finally been captured thanks to Astro, and happily the mysterious robot Pook has been repaired by Dr. O'Shea, and now Astro has been asked to go to the moon. Yep, the moon, you know, that satellite orbiting the Earth. It all started when... We're almost at the moon, Astro. Pook sure is a mystery. He was already repairing himself before I even let... Wait, did I read this already? I did! Alright, so let's skip this. Artificial gravity's been... Alright, hey guys, it's Pat Dude here. Welcome back to more Let's Play Astro Boy and Mega Factor. Last time... Uh, we had some very tough times with some bosses. And in this episode, we're gonna have some very good times, right? Uh, probably not, but whatever. I'm having fun. Uh, let's go down. Wait, is there anything up here? And, nope, wasting my time. There you go. Let's go ahead and use the uh, machine guns. Use, ah, come on. Alright, come on. Alright, use machine gun again. Okay, there's some big enemies right here. Okay, keep going, kick him. Oh, you bastard. Come at me. Alright, come on. Let's go. We gotta... We gotta get a good run here. Come here, Ha! All right, sweet. Oh, keep using the arm cannon because if it's OP supers, it's OP super EX power. That was convenient. Kind of wasted it. Kind of wait. Kind of wasted it, but it whatever. Just do that machine gun to neutralize his shot. And holy crap! All right, come on, arm cannon. Alright, truth be told, guys, I did this level last night, and oh my god, was it completely just painful, because I died like five times in this level, I don't even know why. I was dying to stupid stuff, too. I was dying to these, uh, freaking snake-looking things. I don't even know what these th things are. Th those guys, those guys kept killing me with their hammers. Ugh, that was ridiculous. Just give me some machine guns so I can hit all enemies. Alright, machine gun again. I freaking jet it in the, uh, this game. Come on. Alright, got some health. Hopefully, this is a checkpoint. Holy! Goblin shaped roboid. Someone's got to be controlling them. And holy jeez. Alright, I killed that guy in one hit. Alright, those guys are the weak ones. Alright, sweet, I killed the big guy. Sweet. That was kind of close. It's the last steam. I got a power on my hypersensors to see. 
the power reactor is overheating and it's just uh, blah, blah, blah. it couldn't be dangerous not to touch it yeah this is what I mean is uh, upgrading their sensors and your um, freaking Omega factor it makes it better to the sea in this area I mean it's not too bad but it's still kinda bad and oh god I'm dead alright that's fine whatever and blah 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 alright okay oh jeez am I dealing with a lot of lag here I don't know what is it my recorder or something is it oh, come on it's probably because of this area it ah damn it Stupid lag. Okay, come on. I need to figure out how to get rid of this lag between episodes. Hopefully, it won't. Hopefully, it won't keep you guys from watching. Cause you know, cause the lag is kind of bad. But I don't know. And holy slowdown. I knew I was gonna get hit by that. Okay, keep on hitting these guys. <coughs> Excuse my cough there. Okay, come on. Right, these bat enemies are kind of annoying because they're so. How many do I have to kill? Jeez. Look at this slowdown. This slowdown is freaking heinous. Uh, there's some uh, lasers. Yeah, it's because this area is the lag. Because it wasn't that lag. Because it wasn't lagging this bad before. Alright, come on. Just use the machine gun so we can just get rid of these guys on both sides! Okay, that was too close. Oh my gosh. Not risking it. Damn it! I can't die here. Alright, that was the last guy. Alright, not risking it. Ooh, hell, thank God. Thank you. Alright, go, go down. Get down. <sighs> thank you. Okay, we're out of this area. Thank God. I, I think I remember there being a person in here. I'm not too sure where he is, though. Alright. Alright, just get rid of these guys. Guys are kind of easy. Just one combo. And they're done. There's still lag? What's going on? It's because of the enemies or something? I don't know. And I'm almost dead. That's not good. Okay. I'm dead. Alright, whatever. Screw you, freaking small enemies. Come here. You can just go screw yourselves. Alright, come on. Alright, just keep on comboing these guys. And hopefully they'll die in one hit, which they do. These guys don't got. What's so special about these guys? Why don't they die in one hit? <coughs> Alright, come on. Oh. 
Ah, uh, screw those guys. Is there anybody up here? Oh, there is. Yeah, there we go. Who are you? I'm Hecate, the daughter of a demon. I'm collecting bitterness and sorrow left by man as ingredients for my magic. There's a tremendous amount of bitterness and sorrow left here, but two lovers whose dream didn't come true. I wonder what happened to them. Alright, let's go ahead and upgrade our sensor to level 2 out of 4. And nothing else up here. And we're fully healed and we got fully super, so we're good. And just in time, too. You know why? Because here is Daichi. Hey, Daichi, you're alright. I'm Astro, I'm here to save you. Finally, Astro, I've been waiting for you. Let's see who's the best robot. What? Aren't you Daichi? <laughs> yes and no. The real Daichi died three years ago in an accident. But Dr. Tenma applied to Daichi's memory to be the Bill Machine Bunny to <laughs> take over his father's assets. I'm Atlas. Let's see what you're made of, Astro. Bring it on. Facing Atlas. And holy crap, he screwed me. He's got a special beam cannon. All right, we got to do a command man. Oh. Oh god. All right, come on. Oh gosh, screw you, dude. Right, come on. Keep using the command man. Oh jeez. All right, whatever. That's all right. Cause that was a bad start to the fight. All right, come on. All right, don't use your command man or your special beam cannon. Whoa. Alice can be pretty tough if you don't know how to avoid his attacks, but he's but he is not too bad. His attacks are pretty decently easy to avoid. And whoa, whoa! And he's pretty hard to hit as well, but once he gets to this stage, he's pretty hard to hit. Hmm. I see you've become stronger. That's exactly what I was hoping to see. Hold on a second, why do you want to find me anyway? To evolve! Evolve? Dr. O'Shea didn't create you. Dr. Tenma did, just like he created me. Tenma was a heretic who was expelled by the science ministry. He believes that robots should rule over humans, and you and I are special robots who were created to serve this purpose. We can constantly evolve to be the strongest so we can rule the world. What? Just look at me. I'm neither fully human nor fully robot. I'm a monster. You will never understand what this feels like. But Dr. Tenma told me that if I defeat you, I'll be able to pass my, pass my own sorrow and become something never ever before. The ultimate evolution. So you see why I must use you to overcome my cursed fate. I must become the ruler of this world. Here I come. And holy jeez. It's... Ah, dang it. Alright, round two. All right, round three. Third time's a charm. All right, come here, hit me. Ha! Oh, all right, I said that completely wrong. I'm ashamed of myself. All right, avoid you. Come here, me. Ha! There we go. Whatever. All right, gonna turn super sin. I don't care. What's with all the Dragon Ball Z references in this in this Let's Play so far? Sweet! Oh god! Come on! Come on, Alice! Alright, this should do it! There we go! Stage 3 clear. Almost did it without taking a hit, too. What is this? His face! Oh! <laughs> He's like, oh! <laughs> is this an artificial hibernation capsule? Who is she? And what is she doing here? Who is she? Why do I feel like I know her? I can't remember. Ah, my head is about to split. We have to postpone our battle, Astro. Atlas. Hmm. That was a lame way to end it. And know this, Astro, there will be a day when you must put an end to this battle. He will overpower you now since he also has a human soul. You couldn't beat him now even if you tried. 
Learn to feel sorrow and bitterness just like Atlas has. Learn and evolve. Live to become what will be the greatest creation of my life. So Atlas is off to who knows where now. I wonder where it went. And who is that beautiful woman? So many questions and so little answers. And Dr. Tokugawa asked Dr. O'Shea to keep all of this a secret. There's something funny going on here. Mr. Tokugawa is filthy rich, so I don't know what he's up to now. Regardless of all of that, there's something much more important. A, a robot has been elected as the president of the Antarctic. He's the first time a robot has ever been elected as president, ever. His official name is Dr. is President Rag, and he's Really, and he's really good looking. Jeez, I can't read today. And he's so young, and he's full of energy. And Astro has been invited to an inauguration ceremony. He's off to an Antarctic, and here I am, stuck at home once again. And eh, no one cares. Whoa! So this is the Marine Express. This underwater express train connects Metro, 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 Metro Metropia to the Antarctic. Hi. Cannot read today. It's an honor to be invited to such an event to see the first robot president. But I wonder why Dr. O'Shea asked me to attend this event with you. He may believe what something might go wrong at the inauguration ceremony. Rumor has it that the anti robot group Black Looks is after the president. What's the matter, Astro? You don't look so good. Something wrong with your electronic brain? I wonder if what Alice said was true. Who is Dr. Tenman really? Was it the person who created me? And with, why didn't Dr. O'Shea tell me about any of this? Alice said that he was nothing but a monster. He said that I never understand the sorrow that he's faced. Now my electronic brain is reacting like I never felt before. If he's a monster, then what does that make me? I don't understand. Maybe this is what sorrow feels like. Maybe my soul will start to grow just like humans. Flowers! Flowers are blooming in the Antarctic? Welcome to the Antarctic, Astro. We are truly honored to have the President come here to greet us. And there's Rag right there. So let's go ahead and upgrade our punch. I am President Rag. Nice to meet you, Astro. I've heard many things about you. We robots are very proud of you. It's an honor to meet you, sir. President, are you sure you're alright? Never that you're being targeted by the black looks. I know there are humans who are not happy with the robot being president. However, that doesn't mean I will run or hide from them. I was elected president for a reason. The majority believed in me. I shall bring about change, understanding, and peace in the Antarctic. Um, yes, certainly. I cannot imagine a leader not being an ant a robot here in the Antarctic. Especially in a cold place like this that required the corporation cooperation of robots. Without robot cooperation, the Marine Express would never have been built. And it was because of supporters like Duke Red that paved the way. Who kindly opened the Antarctic for robots. So you are Astro. I've heard many things about you. You're Duke Red, the International Counselor. Yes, robots like you are needed for the future of humanity. I hope you will get along with my daughter Nuka. Oh, what's wrong, Nuka? It's terrible, father. The black looks have destroyed the site. What? And Duke Red, he's number one in just. He's the main guy for justice. There he is. And we don't get an upgrade? Aw, oh, lame. What a cheapskate. But to now, but to now, but for now, we're going to be ending the episode here, guys. So. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Astro Boy Omega Factor, and I'll see you guys next time.